Hello, my tubies, my Teletubbies. Uh, good evening. It is 6.07. I have my women's Bible study group uh, to tonight. Every Thursday, I usually have my Bible study group. But I had to rush home and make this video. This is a picture of me and my son. Considering he is a social worker, counselor, therapist, you name it, he does it when it comes to mental health. Today, we're going to uh, talk about struggling with depression. So the reason I chose to talk about this topic is because I have received numerous phone calls and emails from many of my subscribers and followers about how they can't seem to shake their depression. Some people are able, as we know, I'm sure you've met these type of people, they're able to sell through life's up and downs, unaffected by anxiety or depression. Whereas you have other people who are more sensitive and depression can actually cause them to become immobilized. I've had many say to me, a couple of my uh, uh, followers and subscribers have sent me uh, emails and we've, uh, sat on the phone talking and some of them have said that they are depressed every day and they actually want to kill themselves. They feel that things are getting worse. And then I had someone else write me and they said that they struggle with depression every day and they just want to give up and they are constantly having suicidal thoughts. I was recently, this is just recent on a phone call speaking with someone who said, they don't know how, or they don't know if, better yet, that they're undergoing depression, but they feel sad and they feel trapped inside their mind almost every day. But the one call that I got that stood out in my mind, it was a call from one of my subscribers and they said that they struggle with feelings of like they're worthless. You know, they feel like they're worthless and they feel like they don't have anything to offer. And I had to talk to uh, my Tubi and I let them know that's, that's not true. You know, everyone has something to offer this world, you know, to help make it a better place for all of us. People helping people is what it's all about. You can always choose to empower, build up and be a good influence in people's lives. Even if you make mistakes in your life, you can share that with others so that they won't have to hurt the same way that you did, sharing your experiences. I mean, everybody has a story. Helping other people to avoid the same blunders in life that you went through, that's very valuable. Those are the type of things that help make the world a better place, wouldn't you say, Tubies? It's not about battling your past. It's about fighting for your future. And you have to keep that in mind. Now, what I did is I addressed each one personally. But what I want to do right now is I want to address everyone here today. First, let me start off by saying that I'm not a doctor and I'm not a professional. My son is, he's a professional. He's licensed. He's, he's, he's licensed. He, you know, I'm not licensed, but he is. Anyway, I'm not a professional. I'm not a doctor. So I think it's best for you to get a checkup and speak with a professional, a social worker, uh, um, a therapist, a psychiatrist, to see if you are suffering from clinical depression. And now, with that having been said, anytime you feel that you're in a rut that you can't get out of, or you feel that nothing is ever going to change, every day you wake up, you feel it's the same old thing, day in and day out, you know? And you feel that you're in this rut that you can't seem to get out of, I want to share with you that you have to realize nothing ever stays the same and you'll only get stuck in a rut and continue to feel depressed if you stop moving. It's also important for you to know that people who you associate with, you have to be very careful with that because there are a lot of toxic people out there in this world, which I know I don't have to tell you that. You have to be careful with the people you associate with because they could have a huge impact uh, when it comes to your mental health. The first thing you must do 
my two bees is you've got to keep moving in order for things not to stay the same. There have been times when I myself have even struggled with depression. So when it comes to being able to understand and identify with you, I most certainly can. Every time I think about me losing my religion and I think about the state that my family is in right now, you know, and, and sometimes I think about how they just didn't appreciate all my hard work. You know, I could do a thousand things right and three things wrong, but all they can focus on is the three things you do wrong. And that, you know, can also, that, that has caused me to feel, um, a doubt down and out, you know, my religion and my family, that was my life. So there's times when I too, uh, go through the depression stage, you know, and I could let that cripple me, but guess what, Tubies, you know, Sheila True Love, I know that every day I have to take a step forward and I can't stop moving. You're going to find that sometimes you're going to have good days and sometimes you're going to have more challenging days. The first thing I strongly suggest to you, my Tubies, who I love so much, is do not stay stuck in your house. Please don't do that. <clears throat> Even if you have to go to the store, uh, take a bus ride. Uh, go out and drive, take a drive or a walk. You need to get out and about. You'll have a chance to meet people, new people. You're not going to meet anybody sitting up in your house. And you're not going to have any new opportunities happen to you if you're sitting, uh, isolating yourself and all cooped up. Things in the world are also changing. You have to understand that. You feel that nothing's going to change. This world changes. Everything's in this world change every day. Sometimes it's annoying, you know? Like when you finally figured out something and you become an expert at it, then they go and upgrade it and, and it's annoying. And I had one of those days today, by the way. You ever had those days when everything just irritate you? Yeah, well, I had one of those days today. And I'm looking forward to my uh, Bible study. I need it so desperately. So you keep in mind that things in the world are always changing and different things are always happening. If you stay stuck in the house... You can lose out on something wonderful or helpful solutions to what may be troubling you. There may be someone that you run into and you strike up a conversation and they could share so much wisdom and insight and voila, bam, it can make a world of difference. When your mind tells you that nothing is going to change, keep in mind things around you are always changing. So that should be good news. Don't give up. You got to just keep it moving. Another thing, my tubies, I'm tired right now. I had to do this though, because I wanted to get out there because by the time I get home from the Bible study, it's going to be a little late. Anyway, it's so important for you to watch the quality of people that you are around. If they are like Debbie Downers or Danny the Drudge, that's not very helpful, especially if you are an empath like me. As empaths, we tend to empathize with people to the point that we can suck up, they can suck up. No, we could suck up all their pain inside of ourselves and all of their neg negative energy. And that just leaves us feeling drained, tired, and exhausted. The quality of your life is determined by the type of people you hang around with. Please remember that. If you want things to change in your life, you have to take what? Guess it, Tubi. Tell me you got it. You have to take action. For me to meet a better quality of people, because sometimes you say, well, all I know is a bunch of bums, a bunch of drug addicts, a bunch of alcoholics, a bunch of losers. <sighs> but what I did about that, for me to meet a better quality of people, like tonight, I have my women Bible study group every Thursday night and I joined Al-Anon. I couldn't do the AA thing because uh, it wasn't, it wasn't really working for me because the people that was there you know, every time you look up, they're relapsing. And, and I just decided to join Al-Anon because it has a better quality of people as far as I'm concerned. I also have my Christian meetings every Sunday at 10 o'clock. And after the meeting, we sometimes, we have our potluck or we'll go out to eat or we may go bowling or take in a movie. You could also join the gym. Find yourself a gym because I heard a lot of people said that they find this to be very, very helpful. Ooh, I never would have found such good quality people if I would have stayed stuck in my house. Let's think about that. I also joined several support groups online. 
because it's good to connect and communicate with people if you don't want to stay stuck feeling miserable and unhappy. So if every day seems like a struggle, remember the importance of taking action and to keep it moving. You have the power to cause your depression to go into remission. The thing about depression that I'd like for you to meditate or analyze is that depression, it lies to you. It tells you lies. Things do change and things do get better. Even though depression sits there and tell you nothing's going to change, nothing's ever going to get better. No, things do change. You just have to hang in there and hang on and don't give up. You can win the battle of depression, my tubies. Now in closing, I'd like to share that above all things, above all else, Putting your trust in your heavenly father is much better than trying to find a reason for everything that happens that you don't like or that you don't understand. God gives us understanding in many things, but he also may choose to ask us to trust him without understanding. The very nature of trust requires that we have some things that are unanswered and we still have questions about it. That's where the trust and the faith comes in. To lean on your heavenly father, it means to put the weight of your burden on him rather than trying to carry it by yourself. God is waiting with open arms to carry your load. If you are ready to hand it over to him, he's ready to take it. You may not know how to solve your problem, but you can lean on the one who most certainly do know how. You could get your Bible when you get a chance to look at Proverbs chapter three, verse five. And it tells you to trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. I got that from uh, Wake Up to the Word. That's Joyce Myers. I love that woman. She is so encouraging uh, for me and she builds me up. And I kind of get a little bit more out of the women pastors because you don't hear about women molesting children and raping little boys. But you hear about elders, ministerial servants, uh, pastors, deacons, uh, rabbis, they, you know, they're constantly being caught raping and uh, harming children, abusing children. So sometimes I think I get a little bit more uh, leaning towards uh, the female pastors, you know, but that's just me. You have to do what works for you. Whatever's going to help keep you spiritually upbuilt and help to keep you strong then that's where you, that's where you need to be. So anyway, my tubies, I love you. And I'm not going to have a chance to eat. I think I'll buy a soup when we get there. We always go to Starbucks and study. So they have a nice soup too. So that's what I'm going to have. Anyway, I love you. And I want you to have an amazing day. And don't forget the secret is to keep it moving and to keep in mind that depression, it does nothing but lie to you. And things do change. Things change every single day day. Uh, I want to say to you also, I appreciate your gift and your donations of the seven bucks. And I thank you so much for the extra work. You know, keep those calls and keep those emails coming because I love you. I love you very much. Goodbye for now.